the frigid temperatures, it's important to make sure your gas tank is full. AAA says you should keep your tank at least half full. That's to make sure your gas lines don't freeze up and to prevent any long-term issues with your fuel pump. AAA says the extra gas can also come in handy if you do get stuck and have to run the vehicle to stay warm. And more good advice here, of course, with our back-to-back -back snowstorms. Chances are you'll be driving in these slick conditions at some point this week, and crashes can happen so quickly. So how do you stay safe, and what do you do if you're involved in one of these crashes? It isn't always just you, sometimes multiple cars involved. Here to speak on it is our AAA insurance expert, Skylar McKinley, uh, to talk about some of the risks associated in snowy conditions like this. Yeah, with multi-weather storms, it's not just the snow, which we can kind of get accustomed to. It's really that level of ice as one storm melts off, refreezes, and then it gets snowed on top of. I was walking my dog this morning. Everywhere there's snow that I saw, there's a level of ice underneath. Right. As a driver, you can plan for this. Typically, ice forms in areas that are shaded before under uh, bridges and overpasses. Mm -hmm. You can typically predict where the ice is going to be by looking ahead 20 to 30 seconds but it's really good advice to always slow down keep your speed slow never slam on the brakes and watch what other traffic is doing in front of you because if you see other vehicles struggling no matter what you drive there's a really good chance you're going to struggle on that very same ice try to keep that nice cushion between you and the other vehicles right. what do you do if you are involved in one of these crashes yeah a lot of folks are surprised if they get into a crash in one of these days law enforcement might always not always come because there's so many crashes and, and their resources are really stretched thin so don't anticipate that law enforcement is going to mediate which is why it's important that you know just what to do so if, if everyone's okay make sure you get your cars out of traffic to a safe location, mm -hmm. then take down that information you know to take down. The insurance policy number, the driver's name, their contact information. Also take photos and videos of the crash. If your car, both cars are operational, you can then drive off and have all that to file a claim. You also want to make sure if law enforcement isn't involved to file a police report so that that, is, that history is there. Beyond that, never share your policy limits with the other driver and never admit fault. Even if you think you might be at fault, investigations with these things are complex. So don't say, oh, I'm so sorry, or just ask if everyone's okay before yeah. really getting into it. Important to keep in mind in these conditions. Any other tips for drivers out there? Yeah, so we're all facing these same conditions today. I usually, I like that my insurance agent has the same problem, same problematic commute I had. So I have a local agent. We can help you find a local agent who's going to have the best coverage for you, specifically for Colorado conditions. You can find one at AAA.com slash insurance. And nice to get all of your ducks in a row right. before something happens, certainly. Thank exactly. you, Skyler. Thanks.